What impact does your stutter have on confidence? Welcome to the National Stutter Awareness Month, part two. It's a trigger, Rich Bio Trigger from Rock to Stage Show. Stuttering impacts 80 million people worldwide, and for most of us, it impacts our confidence. Stuttering can decimate you, especially in your younger years, of not knowing how to show up, how to speak, or what's going to come out of your mouth next. Believe me, I have many stories, many memories of my confidence being shattered as a young person. Now, one of the things is stuttering does not need to define your own self-image. It often does, but it does not define you. Many stutterers are highly intelligent, very creative individuals. They just can't get from here to here to have it come out in an easy flowing way. Think of your stutter like a deck of domino little chips. Dominoes are all lined up and everything's going along perfect. And all of a sudden, it begins to fall and fall and fall and fall. It gets worse and worse until you have to stop because you can't say another word or it's a bigger train wreck. Your confidence is shattered with that. Every one of those little dominoes is another chink in your confidence. It's eroded. It's beat down. It's fallen. And it's incredibly painful. But that does not need to define you. Don't make your stutter what defines you. Practice on how to rise above that. My mother still lives with a lifelong stutter. It has not defined her. She still is a go for it, strong woman. You have to find out what you're going to do with your stutter and how you are going to either work around it, work with it, or integrate it into your life. Many people want to hide the fact that they have a stutter. I ask you to embrace your stutter. Don't hide from it. Find a way to embrace it and make it part of who you are. And it's the truth of who you are. Now, and by embracing your own self-worth, it doesn't mean you have to just accept it. You can practice. You can improve it. I've done that and done that and still find new ways to improve how I deal with my stutter. Now, thankfully, I had a grandmother. My grandmother understood me. She understood how the stutter could impact my life. And she spent time with me reading comic books and doing character voices so I could learn to be more confident with the voice that I had. I had to find my voice. It was not my brother's voice, my father's voice, even my grandfather's voice. It was my voice. And my voice was a more fun, playful individual, very creative. The more I embraced that voice, instead of the strong, legal, authoritative voice of my parents and grandparents, the more I began to relax and be in my own skin. Stuttering, it does impact your confidence, but it does not need to define you. What can you do today to find a way to start building your confidence? Set up a system of practice. Have someone work with you, whether it's a professional therapist or good friends. Show compassion to those that stutter. If you are like my grandmother, if you are another individual, please spend time and let them know you're listening. And one thing you can do with a stutter is to show confidence to them. Do not interrupt them and put the word out that they're trying to get out. One thing you do is just relax. Let them take their time. And instead of them fighting the word to get out, they'll eventually learn to relax a little bit more and more. And the words will come easier and easier because you believe in them. And believe me, that's a powerful way to support somebody that stutters. Yes. Stuttering impacts confidence, but you don't have to stay that way. Watch throughout this month as I share stories of others that have risen above a stutter with great confidence. It's still there, but it does not limit or define them. 